We're staying in Milwaukee for our 58 hometowns visit this morning. Look for reports from Bayview from our Jessup Bryce back throughout the entire day on CBS 58. Patty Thompson, a member of the Bayview Neighborhood Association, joins us live for a preview. Good morning, Patty. Good morning. It's lovely to see you. Lovely to see you as well. Thanks for getting up early with us. I know that Bayview is a lot of fun, so, you know, getting up early can be a challenge. But tell well, us you know, more. Late, late night Bayview was a lot of fun last night. I had dinner at one of our local restaurants and enjoying the warm weather in our neighborhood was fantastic. It sounds like a great time. So tell us where we should go today. What are your favorite parts of living there? So I've been a Bayview resident almost all of my life. I'm a homeowner of about 22 years. And actually went to Bayview High School along with a number of our other uh, wonderful leadership, people in leadership in Milwaukee, including our mayor, our county executive, and our own alder. They all went to Bayview High School. Uh, so some of the fun things that we like to do around here is we like to enjoy our entertainment areas. Uh, lots and lots of really wonderful bars and restaurants. We've got a beautiful uh, theater in the Avalon Theater plus all of the other local entertainment that's happening at a, a lot of our hot music venues like Club Garibaldi and Cactus Club and Tonic Tavern where you can see all sorts of wonderful live music. So it's a great place to step out and have a good time. And like you just mentioned, Patty, so many of your leaders are residents and they've been there for a long time. What does that mean to you? What does that say about Bayview? What does that mean if people really like to stay there? So I am, well, myself and a number of other people are, are what we call a little bit old, more old school Bayview. And I'm not even as old school as a lot of these other people here. There are generational uh, families that have been in Bayview since almost the beginning, who've owned homes uh, this whole entire time and who continue to stay here because of the wonderful community that we have. Uh, but then we also have a wonderful influx of, of new people, people who see the value in the neighborhood and the connections that we have and want to come and be a part of it. So we see wonderful people moving into our houses, uh, becoming our neighbors and enjoying themselves in this great community. So say I'm coming there on a weekend or even weekday. What's the spot that you say I have to go to? Well, one of my favorite spots is Cafe Lulu, Lulu Bar and Cafe, owned by Sarah and Cam, who uh, 20 plus years ago really put their stake in the ground and decided that Bayview was a great place to be. And they actually were one of the first people to open up a really great restaurant on the uh, corners of uh, KK Howell and Lincoln. And they have been doing business for years and it's always a great meal, always a good drink. Sounds perfect to me. Thanks, Patty, for all the information. We look forward to seeing you later today out there with Jessup. Thanks again. Sounds great. Hey, Mike. Yeah, and did you know this is our 50th stop on our 58 Hometowns Tour? We are in Bayview. Two words, not one, as you mentioned. And uh, yes, we are in G. Grappi Food Market, and this place is so, so cool. This is Jeff Spankowski. He's manager here. And uh, man, you guys got literally a little bit of everything oh, and yeah. top-notch stuff. Yep, that's what we go for. You know, we want to be a specialty store, but we also want to have anything the community could need, like the people in the surrounding area. So so right now we're kind of in a, in a walkway. The main grocery store, if you will, would be there. Then you walk this area and you have some of the most delicious looking food you can imagine. Uh, you guys said you have chefs that make all this every day. Yep, yep. Full team of chefs in the kitchen working at least from six till five almost every single day. Look at those meatballs. <laughs> My goodness. All right. And then you can go here, obviously get all this food fresh and ready to go. You walk into this area, then you walk into more of like the liquor store or if you will. And one of the coolest things about this place, this area, Jeff, you guys got a bar in this joint? Yeah, we got a nice <laughs> little wine bar. Um, it's great, you know, for the community or people who are traveling, just coming by and want to drink while they shop or yeah. just have a little stop on the way while they're checking out Bayview. So, so cool. And then back here, the butcher, full butcher. I mean, some of the most beautiful meats you will see. Uh, you guys cut your meat and all fresh in-house. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Everything's cut in-house. All of our sausage is made fresh in-house. Um, everything is, you know, uh, certified humane. It's all, I, I buy all my meat here, to be honest. It's delicious. The, you can't beat the steaks here, the sausage, yeah. the grilling. The, it's all so good. The steaks look amazing. And then how Wisconsin is this section down here? I mean, you say you got sausages. You guys have a lot of sausages. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Everything under the sun. You want Italians. You want brats. You want specialty brats, Polish, you know, even chicken or turkey sausages. We got that, too. So. And you guys aren't uh, new and up and coming. This is uh, what, what makes one of the coolest things about this place is, is the history. Just a little bit, Jeff, if you don't yeah. mind. Been around a long time. Yeah, of course. No, this has been a really cool 
store. This was actually, um, you know, the Grappies who started it. We are right now in their house. Oh so the God. whole front of the store, that main grocery store part, that was always the grocery store. But back here, this was their house for the longest time. And then in the early 2000s, once they sold the place, um, the Nearings who own it now, they remodeled this and set everything up, built the bar, and got it to what you see today. This has to be uh, such an important part and a really cool part of the Bayview community. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a staple. If you see any murals of Bayview, odds are Grappies, uh, the outside picture of it is going to be in there. If you talk to anybody who's lived in Bayview, odds are they're going to mention Grappies. This is just a staple part of not only Bayview, but the Milwaukee community itself. My first time in here, I live out in the falls. I will be driving back to come and uh, get some of the meat in the summer. Sausages. Uh, this is such a cool place. Jeff Spankowski, thank you for being with us. Uh, guys, much more, of course, coming from Bayview, our 50th stop on our hometowns tour in all of our newscasts, 4, 5, 9, and 10 as well. Reporting live from G. Grappi Food Market in Bayview, I'm Jessup Ricebook. We'll send it back to you. CBS 58 Hometowns Tour continues, and today in Milwaukee's Bayview neighborhood. And that's spelled with two words, by the way, not to be confused with Bayview, Idaho. An early settler, Zabai Estes, who arrived back in 1836 with her husband Elijah, is credited with naming Bayview. This south side neighborhood is known for it. its historic workers' cottages. Houses built around the Milwaukee Iron Company mill, which operated from 1868 until 1929. And on a rainy day like today, perhaps you'll want to find a nice cafe, get a warm drink, relax. Yeah, well, you could do just that at Lulu Cafe and Bar. CBS 58's Jessup Ricebeck is there with more. Welcome back to Bayview, our most recent stop on your CBS 58 Hometowns Tour. We are now in Lulu Cafe and Bar, the original Lulu. Indeed, We don't yes. want any of this Lululemon. This is yeah. the Lulu right here in Bayview. <laughs> this is Cameron Roberts, uh, the co-owner of this beautiful spot. Let me first by uh, just start by asking you, what does this place in your eyes mean to the Bayview community, Cam? Um, well, when we first opened it up, we really wanted it to be a neighborhood space, like uh, where everyone was welcome, old, young, families, kids, whatever. Yeah. Um, and it really has, it really has taken uh, a, a good, um, community community yeah, sure. taking on a good community vibe and and yeah. um we love it we're we're big fans of bayview in general we've both been residents here for a long time sarah my business partner actually grew up here um so yeah yeah you've been through some, a lot of business owners small business owners have been through some tough times with the pandemic mm -hmm. you're hopefully now on the other side of it you're yes. still here you're flourishing yep. what does that mean to you how much did the bayview community support you to get you through the tough times which a lot of small businesses went through yeah yeah oh my god they were they were critical they were instrumental everyone was so lovely and when we had to switch to just carry out i mean we had customers who were ordering you know once twice sometimes three times a week awesome. from us to carry out which was just incredible. We really, we couldn't have made it without Bayview awesome. and Milwaukee in general. Yeah, you know? sure, sure. Yeah. Cameron Roberts, thank you so much for uh, letting us in your doors. Beautiful spot here. Continued success to you. We appreciate you. And thank you. Uh, this is just a back in the 1870s. Bayview was a bustling village. Fast forward to the present. It's still bustling. Yeah, it's been part of the city of Milwaukee for more than a century. Jessup Ricebeck shows us today's 58 hometown, the Bayview neighborhood. Every stop is special on our tour, right? But this is extra special because this is stop number 50 on our 58 hometowns tour. We are in Bayview, Bayview, two words. It is a beautiful community right on the sands of Lake Michigan, of course. We are in South Shore Park. You can call this place the epicenter of active life here in Bayview. Hi, I'm Jill LaFriends. I'm the president of Friends of South Shore Park, and we are in South Shore Park. It's a beautiful spot for sunrise. Um, and then you know, during the day, it's hustling and bustling. Um, and at night, when the sun goes down, you have you know, just really pretty reflections on the water, and the sky changes colors. Um, and then you have the view of downtown. South Shore Park is absolutely amazing, and that's something that we're able to take advantage of. And Riser Principal Trowbridge School of Great Lakes Studies. We are, as far as I know, the only school of Great Lakes Studies at the elementary level in the state of Wisconsin. And really, with Lake Michigan being integral to so much of our identity as Milwaukee, 
It's amazing to watch the students engage with not only Lake Michigan, but the hands-on science and integrating that across the curriculum. My name is Jeff Spankowski. I'm the main deli manager here at uh, G. Grappi's Deli. And the Grappi's family, I mean, they knew all their customers by name. They would greet them all. You could have you know, back in the day, a tab here if you didn't have the money right then. They would unlock it early for people to get their meat or if they closed and someone needed something, they would still open up and just get them whatever they needed. So it's that, uh, you know, family kind of small store here for the community type of vibe. What a gem Grappies is and, and kind of a microcosm of Bayview, something for everybody. Great parks, great schools, great shopping, great people and great history. Oh, and don't forget, Great bowling too, right? Here on South Connecticut Avenue, it's Bayview Bowl. Reporting for 58 Hometowns in Bayview, I'm Jessa Bryceback.